viewers welcome to our youtube channel incredible max in this video we will solve a problem asking csir net december 2023 in part b under the topic complex analysis question id 704034 so this question is based on argument principle so let us see the problem let f be a meromorphic function on an open set containing the unit circle c and its interior Suppose that f has no zeros and no poles on C and let NP and N0 denote the number of poles and zeros of f inside C respectively. Which of the following is true? So the argument principle says that if, uh, let us take the same notation, N0 and NP denotes the number of zeros and number of poles of zeros of f inside C where f is a meromorphic function, then uh, this one is true. That is 1 by 2 by i integral over c f dash of z d z divided by f of z so this is equal to number of zeros minus number of poles so here so let us see the left hand side so there are all the options the left hand side is 1 by 2 pi integral over c z f dash divided by z f so therefore so number of zeros of f of z is n naught. So that means the number of zeros of z times f of z. So this is equal to so this is nothing but so this we can write as z minus 0 into f of z. So therefore number of zeros of z minus 0 to f of z is n naught plus 1 this is n naught plus 1 number of poles of f of z so number of poles of f of z is n p and the same thing so number of poles of z f of z will be same as n p so therefore so when we use this one so argument according to argument principle so this value is equal to so therefore now according to argument principle So this one 1 by 2 pi i integral over c zf dash by zf dz is equal to number of poles so number of uh, zeros so number of zeros is n naught plus 1 minus number of poles number of poles is np so this is nothing but n naught minus np plus 1 so therefore the correct option is option 1 so this is a single correct option question therefore the option one is correct if you have any doubt regarding this question so you can comment on this video thank you